What's up, Pisces? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to look at some energies here for you in the month of August 2024. When it comes to love, romance, and relationships, all right? So we're using the Victorian Romantic Tarot to deliver your messages. This is the only deck that I will be using uh, for your uh, messages. We're just going to uh, cleanse the energies from Dawn Aquarius. This is a uh, spectacular spread. And then we're going to begin with your messages. All right, so what's coming up? for Pisces. What does Pisces have to look forward to? This is for Pisces, suns, moons, risings, Venuses, singles, as well as couples. Energies for Pisces. Here we go, Pisces. We're going to open up with... Um, my hands feel crampy. Oh, you open up with the Page of Cups. I've been doing a lot of um, yard work and community service. And look at my hands just cramping up. Jeez. Anyway, um, Page of Cups is, of course, pregnancy news. It is childbirth. It is a new relationship that's about to begin. It also could reference those Pisces who are already in well-established, well, not well-established, but new, uh, newly uh, formed relationship and always count that energy less than 30 days old. So that is the Page of Cups that's going to start you off. Following that, oh, look at that. You have the lovers now. Okay. So I just said an Aquarius uh, video because this was the very last card that they received and their spread. When the lovers is present in your spread, when it comes to these uh, relationships, Aquarius, I'm sorry, when it comes to these relationships, Pisces, that you really shouldn't have any problems um, in terms of your interactions with your you know, current partner or someone that you have an interest in dating or that you're dating because this, uh, this the lover here always has this energy of and you know having the even you know, like the aspect of an even playing field nothing could go wrong because it's always been said that you know you're going to be on the same page you're going to be you know seeing eye to eye with one another you know most of you are going to be spending quality time with one another some of you could be getting married in the month of august since they're adorning adorning the wedding gear here um the lovers has the capacity to unite new romantic partners together. And guess what? It follows the page of cups. New relationships. So, yeah. Following the uh, lovers or on top of the lovers, you have the page of swords. Now, here's another person coming through. This person here may be new. Um Who may be interested in you, checking you out. I always talk about um, through social media. I always you know, reference that the energy could be a co-worker, a friend, it could be a neighbor. Now, if we get the Seven of Cups or the Moon, uh, then this person may, in the month of August, come and uh, express themselves and let, let you know how they feel, that, you know, that they have an interest in you, okay? Otherwise, it's new conversations, first actions, and first moves with that Page of Swords. Then we have the, oh, now you have the devil. Okay, so the devil showed up for Aquarius. And so now we have to address some issues here at Pisces. What are you doing that's um, leading you or having you repetitively do something over and over again? Now, when I say that, it could be just a, um, it could be that you're ruminating over the same thing involving a relationship. Or you could be, um, it could be an addiction to a relationship or a person. You know, um, you know how we um, think about somebody that we like and we just can't seem to get their uh, energy out of our mind, you know, whether or not it's, you know, involving an actual person that you are involved with or it could be somebody that you're just, you know, thinking about and that you could be wishing um, that you were in a relationship with. So it could be that energy. That's the devil. Okay. He's casting that illusion, trying to make you believe, <coughs> excuse me, that what you feel, what you see, what you, you know, experience is real. Um, this also involves our personal bad habits. So are you, are you doing something that is creating a problem for you? Um, when it comes to your relationships, are you dealing with toxic people? 
toxic relationships, addictive uh, behavior, not yours, not necessarily yours, but it could be, you know, someone that you're interested in. Are they drinking too much, weed smoking too much, you know, anything involving pornography, FWBs. I always talk about FWBs now because the FWBs energy will fall underneath the devil. Now, I ain't talking about what someone else done said. This is what I'm saying because this is what I feel in terms of my own interpretations. FWBs provide Friends with benefits, if anybody doesn't know what FWBs mean. But it's just the sex is always there. It's always going to be available. But it per, um, it permits you from establishing healthy, healthy relationships. And the devil, I use the devil's energy because you go keep going back to it. Oh, the sex is so great. Yeah, you know, but... We don't want anything else going on. You know, we don't want to take the relationship any further. We just want to have the sex. That's the devil. Okay. So you want to break the chains and the bonds or whatever it is that's restricting you or holding you back. If it's unrequited love, you know, if that person's not feeling you, then you have to let that energy go. Um, because it's just unhealthy. Okay. Anything involving the devil's energy is unhealthy. Uh, that we keep getting ourselves uh, caught up in. And sometimes it could be a trap. It could be involving pornography, excessive pornography. Um, whatever this devil may mean to you, okay? And because it is a major arcana, just like that lovers, it has strength, all right? These cards don't show up for nothing. <laughs> so it's, it's addressing somebody out there with the devil's energy um, situation. Okay, so uh, after the devil here, we have the knight. Of wands now follows the devil. So here we have two people here, Pisces. Are you addicted to a relationship? Are you, um, you know, possibly can't get this person that you may, you, like I said before, you can be already in the relationship with them, but you can't seem to get them out your mind. Um, otherwise, then that, let me separate that energy here. The Knight of Wands comes through. Uh, with two characters here, so it could be the you know for those Pisces who are already in committed partnerships, and you're just spending quality time with your partner, enjoying each other's energy, right? This also too could be the um, so you're attracting energy as well for the single Pisces out there, or it could be that you're still attracting um, energy within a partnership that's already been you know constructed. The uh, aspect of the Knight of Wands is the attraction, the building intensity, the passion, and it still would represent the sexual energy and sexual expression. The Knight also would come through to let you know how rapid a new relationship will form and take place. Or we already have the Page of Cups here. Okay. Following the uh, Knight of Cups, or at least on top, is the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is always that um, stuff that is normally internalized or externalized that we have to deal with. It could be just, you know, having to resolve some sort of uh, things um, that were left undone or whatever. And I've been using the characters because uh, there's three characters here in the uh, card here. So, but it's not the three of swords. It's just the energy that I feel sometimes, even though it's the five of swords. So my analogy has always been that if you are the Pisces that's involved in a relationship or a committed relationship, there may be somebody who is, you know, on the outside here trying to interfere, create some sort of disturbance or imbalance for you. Then again, it could be that you're the single Pisces out here. And then here's the couple that you may be trying to create uh, that same type of energy. Remember the five of uh, swords is always, you have to be careful that, you know, people aren't playing head games or mind games with you. And, or you could be the one that's in a relationship that this person is envious of, or this is you, or this is them. And this is you being envious of their relationship. It all depends on you and your situation. All right. So that is the five of swords. Um, up next now we have temperance. Temperance comes in here to, um, restore peace, balance, harmony. Okay. If there was anything that was, um, out of balance for you, not so peaceful for you, she comes in to restore all of that. So you take this energy in the month of August, the entire month of August to know that, and even with the lovers here, you know, the lovers is, you know, that's stability card that, 
you'll have peace and balance, okay, in your relationships or your involvement in uh, going through the dating process if you're the single Pisces. Knowing your worth, your value, loving yourself, loving others, being at peace with yourself, being at peace with others. This is all the temperance is about, okay? Now, you still could be, you know, spending some time outdoors enjoying mother's, you know, mother's nature, God's beauty if you're in a relationship or if you're single or whatever. It doesn't really matter, okay? Then we have the king of pentacles on the horse. Someone is coming in. Now, you got these characters showing up here. You have the page of cups. You have the page of swords. You have the knight of wands. You have the king of pentacles. You got these people, so this is somebody coming in here. Now, if it's somebody coming in here and you're, you know, single specifically, then, you know, this person is well-suited, well-off, pocket change, coins, I always talk about. They could be running things. They like to find their things in life, always, you know, coming across as, you know, could be a little bit extravagant, but that's okay. Um, but never coming across as being rude. These people are dependable, is reliable. Willing to share their accomplishments with you. And normally if there's somebody new and it's representing pentacles that leads into a long-term relationship or a permanent relationship. On top of that, we have the six of cups. Now this person may be coming from your past. Six of cups here. Equal number of cups. What you give is what you get back. But somebody might be from your past that you know, had a romantic interest in you and, you know, the timing might have been uh, wrong or for both of you, maybe. So don't be too surprised in the month of August that somebody reaches out. Okay. Hey, I was just calling, checking up to see how you're doing. It's been a long time, blah, 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 blah. And one thing leads to the other. Then we have the tower. Do not despair here, Pisces, because I just said in, was it Aquarius's video? messages they re somebody received the tower not too long ago see i don't even remember these videos might have been scorpio um i read the tower as sexual energy so there could be some um very dynamic sex okay taking place for some pisces in the month of august um but there is a still a word of caution here when the tower is because it's uncontrollable you don't know how it's going to respond but i try to use it more positive during the love readings than i do the general readings and i get the you know the great sex multiple orgasms and whatnot you know we're all adults we can handle this conversation so but you do want to with all these people here avoid getting yourself involved in any types of uh entanglements or you know fights arguments because it could turn out to be very nasty okay so don't do that i'm leaning more towards the great sex since you already have the knight of wands uh expressing himself or at least a couple on the card expressing themselves then we have the nine of pentacles all right so the nine of pentacles here is just you know basically options multiple options available to you okay pisces for the single pisces I do feel, let me throw this message in here, since the uh, Nine of Pentacles sits underneath that devil, that someone may be sh not necessarily shying themselves away from relationships, but they seem to be um, more committed to their work or any projects and relationships aren't at the top. That's what I'm seeing here. Nine of Pentacles here, you know, because this is a card of reward and uh, working hard for your efforts and whatnot. But the devil is also to the obsessing and working too much. And um, that's where I'm getting the combination. So that someone could be um, just delving into any, it could be school. It could be that you're in school um, and you're putting all your energy into your um, school, your work. And then there's no relationship or at least a, at least to you, the relationship is not a um, major factor. OK, 
to you at this particular time. Now, because you have the second devil here, Pisces, that's significance. And that sits on top of the what, you know, the nine of pentacles of what I just described. <laughs> so, so when you receive two of the energies here, because I said this deck always has two lovers, two devils, and two emperors. It is double the strength and the power of that card. So now that you have the devil here twice, what does that mean? For some of you, I just feel that you have to let go of something or you're having difficulty in letting go of something that keeps drawing you back. Now, that could be, um, you know, relationships in itself. You know, you break up with your boyfriend, your girlfriend or whatever. You give yourself a month or two away and it's like, oh, all of a sudden you seem to get yourself drawn back in somehow. So it could be that. Maybe that's what I'm seeing here. <coughs> Remember, the devil recycles <clears throat> ruminates repeats okay oh all right then we have the seven of cups when i say the seven of cups the person comes out the page of swords so this person who may have a newly invested interest in you pisces is coming forward in the month of august that friend that co-worker that neighbor Seven of Cups also, too, is open to options like the Nine of Pentacles. So there are, again, many options for you single Pisces out there. If you want to uh, consider, you know, putting yourself back out in the dating pool or whatever, uh, there's some, you know, um, big significance here when it mirrors the tower because I talk about the Seven of Cups um, not only be in options, but there's a greater dedication or devotion. Either you're given to others or that energy is coming to you. But remember, I, you know, talked about the seven of cups as being part of debauchery, you know, sleeping around. People just like to sleep around and, you know, and we have two influences here. The two devils are here. So, it mirrors the tower. So, you know, these multiple orgasms, the sex that's debauchery. That's just sleeping around, just having sex and having fun and no strings attached. Uh, if that is you, I'm just calling it as I see it. All right. So the last card that I have for you, um, Pisces, because like I said, with the seven of cups here present, this person's coming forward. We're going to finish off with the major arcana, the emperors. Now you have to have you have to pay attention to the major arcanas that are showing up on your spread. You have some very powerful major arcanas. You got the lovers, you got the two devils, you got the tower, you got the imprints. Now you have the, what I say? Temperance, the imprints, the two devils, the lovers. Okay, very significant. But the, uh, and we're not even finished because I'm going to draw a card on this one here. Uh, the Empress is about beauty. It's like the Temperance card that it sits, um, you know, beneath what I said about loving yourself, knowing yourself. But you could be spending some time, you know, because um, it is a card that represents beauty. And also, too, pregnancy news, childbirth. This is more significant than the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups that it mirrors when it comes to pregnant pregnancy news. But, you know. Being peaceful, being at peace with yourself, loving yourself, knowing yourself, knowing your value, your worth, what you have to offer to someone else, okay? You you come to some uh, understanding that you just don't, um, you know, value yourself any less. And if you're the single Pisces out there that you are, um, could be, Not like you're waiting for that that exceptional relationship, but somebody who is almost like, you know, at your level, more or less, if I can say that. Unless, with the mixture of the cards here, the devils, two devils, 
and the debauchery card here. You know, you're just throwing your energy out there. But um, I know that you're not. But anyway, let's finish up here. On top of that, you have the Queen of Cups, which is a very beautiful card to uh, end up because uh, receiving the Queen of Cups is always about emotional fulfillment that you have achieved or you will achieve. Emotional fulfillment, contentment, satisfaction. Okay? Emotional happiness. She's intuitive. You're part of that energy, so pay attention to your intuition in the month of August. Involving these relationships. Okay? Um, lean towards her guidance when it has um, significance to the devils. Okay? Knowing what to do, how to respond. Um, she also has a tendency to unite romantic partners together as well. All right, so this is what I have for you, Pisces. Um, remember, it's just soul from Intuitive Tarot, giving you my best impressions. Take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a safe, great month ahead. Come back and get more of these messages from me. Until then, Pisces, you guys take care. Bye.